Hello and thanks for joining me. I want to spend the next four minutes or so talking you through the rear brake inspection on my new to me Honda VFR 1200 F DCT. The first thing to point out is that the rear brake on the DCT model is on the upper side of the disc. The lower side is actually the parking brake for the DCT model. So after taking it off the cover, giving it a good clean, I was then able to remove the pads relatively easily, just removing the pin and then sliding the pads out. And they were in relatively good condition. So it looks like there's plenty of life left on those pads, so I'm not going to change them at this time. They cleaned up really nicely and I think I'll just put them back on. The trouble I did have is actually getting trying to get the caliper off the disc. I couldn't work out how to you know get it past the the disc and I had to refer back to the manual to work out that to get it off you need to slide it off the retaining pins or the slider pins. So you know get behind it and then give it a good push and then it pops out. I think I should have really have had a rag on the, the swing arm there just to protect it. But once I give it a push, it came off, and uh, that then gave me free access to clean up the pistons. These were a lot better than the front brake pistons, and uh, didn't, weren't conjured up pretty much at all. So push them out, and then give them a good clean up, just using a rag, some, some brake cleaner. Once I'd cleaned them up with the brake cleaner and given them a good cleaning up, I then pushed them out a little bit further and got uh, anything left from the, the dust seals out. I then gave them a dab of brake fluid and pushed them in and out just to, to move them back and forth, make sure they were moving freely and also to catch any other dirt and grime that uh, was pushed up from the dust covers themselves. And once that was all done, uh, it was a relatively easy process to put them back on. So there they are, moving nice and freely in and out both sides. So just moving them back and forward, just making sure that they're moving good. Um, put the spreader in, pumped the brake to make sure they came out and they were even, and then pushed them back in a little bit. Getting things back onto the bike was uh, relatively easy and uh, then talking up the, the bolts has recommended that uh, if you've bought a new bike to you that you do go through and look at these brakes because on my bike uh, they definitely needed uh, a lot of uh, a lot of work front and back another thing thing to notice is the, the disc brakes do seem to to rust very quickly and easily i need to have a look at uh, why that is so that's the rear brake inspection so the brakes are all good on the bike now and I'm looking forward to the riding season so I can get out and uh, test things around the Scottish mountains. Thanks very much for your time and good luck and safe driving.